Wallace. Thank you. Uh, Speaker Gingrich, one of the ways that we judge a candidate is the campaign they run. In June, almost your entire national campaign staff resigned, along with your staff here in Iowa. Uh, they said that you were undisciplined in campaigning and fundraising, and at last report, you're a million dollars in debt. How do you respond to people who say that your campaign has been a mess so far? Well, let me say, first of all, Chris, that I took seriously Brett's injunction to put aside the talking points, and I wish you would put aside the gotcha questions. Like, like Ronald Reagan, who had 13 senior staff resign the morning of the New Hampshire primary, and whose new campaign manager laid off 100 people because he had no money, because the consultants had spent it. Like John McCain, who had to go and run an inexpensive campaign because the consultants spent it. I intend to run on ideas. Congress should come back Monday. They should repeal the Dodd-Frank bill. They should repeal Sarbanes-Oxley. They should repeal Obamacare. They should institute Lean Six Sigma across the entire federal government, a hard idea for Washington reporters to cover, but an important idea because it's the key to American manufacturing success. I'd love to see the rest of tonight's debate asking us about what we would do to lead an America whose president has failed to lead instead of playing Mickey Mouse games. <laughs> Speaker Gingrich, if you think questions about your records are Mickey Mouse, I'm sorry. I think those are questions that a lot of people want to hear answers to, and you're responsible for your records, sir. Well, if I get a rebuttal, Pardon? I think that there's too much attention paid by the Plesk Corps about the campaign minutia and not enough paid by the press corps to the basic ideas that distinguish us from Barack Obama. <laughs>